Drive for Gold, Next Stop Beijing, sponsored by your Tri-State Toyota dealers. Proud partner of Team USA. 6.15 right now, and talk about the need for speed. 90 miles an hour down the track. We're talking about bobsled, of course. Yeah, Sylvia Hoffman was born in Philly. She will represent Team USA at the Olympics in bobsled. We sent NBC 10's Miguel Martinez-Valle to Lake Placid to talk to Hoffman and a second Olympian for a crash course on what it takes to compete in bobsled. Last October, we slid on over to Lake Placid, New York to get a first-hand look at how these athletes train for the race of their lives. This particular sport, a lot of people don't know, is a blue-collar sport. That's Sylvia Superwoman Hoffman. Along with the men's bobsled team, she showed us just how much work goes into the sport before you even reach the ice. Stretching, agility training, weightlifting, they're all crucial steps to get to the gold. And the men and women's team, they put in the hours all year long. We've been staying real busy in the summertime. Conditioning, that's step one. One, one two, three. <laughs> but then they have to get their equipment ready. We have to actually make sure the sled is prepared. So we'll put the runners on. We'll make sure things are, you know, like properly adjusted. All of that is a factor when we're trying to get down the, the ice as fast and as safe as possible. Safety is key. Hoffman is a brakeman. She's in charge of inspecting the equipment. Her teammate, the driver, walks the course to make sure nothing's in the way. It requires, you know, like teamwork, stability, commitment, integrity. When it comes time to start the race, being in sync is crucial. Hoffman taught me her team's pre-show chant and ritual that gets them on the same page. Backs up, ready! I get the sled going off the line. I push it as fast and as hard as I can, and I jump in the sled, and now my head is down. That's right, in bobsled, half the team can't even see the course. By the time they hit the ice, they're hoping the months of training pay off. And they're hoping to show off their skills these Winter Olympics. This is the second go around and my last go around, so you know I'm really looking forward to seeing how much of that work is gonna pay off even more and you know hopefully we turn into a medal. Miguel Martinez Valle, NBC 10 News. Mm. Oh. It's a lot of trust involved, too. Mm -hmm. When Sylvia and the rest of Team USA get to Beijing, uh, here's a look at what they're going to be wearing at the opening ceremony. The Ralph Lauren uniforms contain a first-of-its-kind innovation called intelligent insulation. All right, each piece of the outfit is constructed in the United States using recycled polyester fibers made from post-consumer plastic bottles. Hey, as long as they keep you warm. Yeah, I, I'm looking forward to Miguel bringing them back to us, Eric, you know? That would be nice. <laughs> nice little gift. Yeah. I'm sure they're like, you know, they're usually like $500 each. I know. Jackets. They're super expensive. Ralph Lauren. All right, NBC 10's Miguel <laughs> Martinez by heading to the Winter Olympics. He's going to bring us live reports when competition starts on February 3rd. Can't looking wait for to that. that.